This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back with the holiday season in full swing and Thanksgiving being tomorrow. Local vets want to remind you to keep an extra eye on your pets. The foods we like to indulge in may not be so safe for your pets. So to break it down of what we can and cannot feed our pets, we have Dr. Katherine Webb here this morning from Lindquist Veterinary. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Well, you. Thank you so much for coming on. So we do this segment every year because I think it's important because I know a lot of people love to give their pets table scraps here and there but sometimes it can get a little dangerous so if we can kind of just you know give us a little quiz on what we know and what we can Absolutely. feed our pets that would be fantastic Absolutely. so and just like we are social beings mm -hmm. and Thanksgiving isn't a hundred percent about food we also want to think about our pets and their other needs mm -hmm. during this holiday time if it's a high anxiety time for your pet you might want to make sure they've got a place to get away from all right. the commotion and all the activity and number two Put something in the oven, have your spouse watch it or, or whoever, and take that dog for a walk, yes. okay? Because don't forget <laughs> that physical activity is important and a tired dog is a happy dog. So right. Very, very important. All right, so we've got a lot of different things here. Mm -hmm. We have some things that are that are a yes, you can, we can feed in small amounts, moderation in yes. all things, but there are some things that are toxic that we're actually using when we're cooking with um, on, on the Thanksgiving holiday. And, and, any time actually in particular so okay. we've got a couple of new things All this right. year we wanted to bring up uh let's see well onions and garlic that's kind of important to think yeah, about i that would one. say no i would say no as yeah. well yeah <laughs> onions there's a lot of people that that think that garlic is a natural flea remedy and in some cases it can be a repellent mm -hmm. but onions and garlic can actually cause blood toxicity to to your pet so we want to stay away from that one um, and we talk, we've talked also about turkey in mm -hmm. the past and maybe a little bit of turkey meat is okay, but when we're talking skins, we don't want to do that. We mm -hmm. don't want to do things like gravy no or gravy. anything that has um, fat drippings. That's going to be important. Okay. Um, uh, what are things we can feed our pets? We've got, we've got beautiful sweet potatoes over mm -hmm. here. Um, and sweet potatoes, I always say, are a great thing for pets. They're mm -hmm. high uh, fiber, low fat. Mm -hmm. Green beans as well. Mm -hmm. uh, green beans have very few calories, and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of hefty pets that can be tricked into the I yummy green beans. I actually feed my dog green beans Excellent. with his food, and he loves it. Yeah, it helps so. fill them up and make them feel like mm -hmm. they're getting so much dog food. Now, what about <laughs> pumpkin pie? I know that we're not supposed to give them chocolate and stuff. Do you think we're allowed to give them pumpkin pie? I think that's okay. You right. think so? Pumpkin is okay. All Pumpkin right. is actually a great thing. A lot mm -hmm. of dogs that have GI upset and even cats that have constipation issues. Sometimes we go with a little bit of pumpkin um, at their at their veterinarian's recommendation. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really important. How about, you know what this one is over here? You know what those are? Some sort of nut? Mm, yeah. Uh, I guess if I guess if they're out of the shell, that would probably be fine. Nutmeg. nutmeg. That's uh -huh. what that is. Nutmeg and the non in the bottle. Oh, thing. I'm gonna say no for nutmeg then. Yeah. I'm gonna say no as yeah, well. Yeah, nutmeg and sage, actually as well. Both is nutmeg and sage can cause neurotoxicity. Oh. Really? And we don't a hundred percent know why. We know that sage has resins in it that can mm -hmm. really upset a stomach. Um, and so those kinds of things are important to note for when you are cooking. Yeah, um, so obviously if you are cooking your turkey or something like that, then don't give it to them. Any spills, you want to clean it mm -hmm. up, absolutely. Right. Raisins and grapes, um, those are frequently, you see a lot of those um, warnings about that online, but not a lot of people know that grapes are toxic. Mm -hmm. um, they can cause kidney failure. Wow. And raisins, of course, are just shriveled up little concentrated grapes. Mm -hmm. So then you've got more more power for your kidney failure for your pet in raisins raisins than you do in grapes. So What about cranberries? Cranberries are good. Cranberries are safe. I actually gave Bryn some cranberries not too long ago and I read online, made sure they were good and yeah. she's she's had a Is there couple. something she in likes that them. we have to make sure like cranberry sauce as long as there's no I wouldn't go with an ex excessive amounts of sugar or sauces that are already made. Okay. If, if you're going to make something for say um uh, if you're gonna make something that's low, low sugar, mm -hmm. maybe if you have diabetic friends, um, I wouldn't do anything with an artificial sweetener in it. Got Always it. stay away from artificial sweeteners, but you can do um, cranberries either in their raw form or um, just cooked a little bit, but I wouldn't right. go with something that's excessively sweet in excessive amounts. Finally, beer. Alcohol, no way, you, you can't give beer to dogs. You're not gonna feed your dog animals, beer? No. no, I think that's a very good idea. She's only hard liquor for her. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> All right, so Look alcohol, yeah. whoa, whoa. <laughs> alcohol can be toxic to our pets, but hops also 
um, has been implicated in a lot of uh, toxicity cases mm -hmm. for animals. The other thing that I wanted to bring up, but I forgot to bring it sitting in my freezer, I've got mm -hmm. frozen bread dough for yeast bread rolls. What no. do you think? No. Probably not. No, because the yeast actually, in a, it would expand got, maybe. It could expand okay. in their stomach, so that's painful. Um, and it also, it, since that yeast is fermenting, it's producing other, um, it's producing yeast that can cause uh, other GI and toxicity signs. Mm. So, right. bad deal. All right, and really quickly, finally, if we do on accident, our dog does get into this or animal gets into this and they start showing symptoms, what should we do? Uh, well, Give your veterinarian a call. Okay. All right, we've All right. always got somebody on call for okay. emergency time. Is there anything so. that we can do at home to kind of maybe flush it out of their system or anything like that? Or is it well, one of those things where we go? It kind of depends on the toxin okay. for things. All right. So the other thing, we want to be sure any spoiled foods, you know, if you cook your turkey in a bag, throw that away. Make sure that garbage is, is put somewhere yeah. where your pet can't get into it because nobody likes a foreign body surgery mm -hmm. again to, to cut out things like bones that your dog mm. has ingested that get stuck in their tummy so make sure you clean up spills and uh, keep your garbage uh, contained. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you so Excellent. much, Dr. Webb. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com on the do's and don'ts of which foods you can and cannot feed, as well as contact information if you have any questions and, unfortunately, if you do have an emergency. So, again, thank you so much for coming on. You're welcome. And we'll be right back.